Okay, here is the aftermath of creating my own car mount. Go pack, go. Um, it has been an adventure, and I did it basically just because I could, and it was totally worth it. So, here's what I ended up with. This is an old car mount. Um, it's the type that have the arms come out like this and then you squeeze together and it holds the phone in place. So normally I would have to set the phone in there, squeeze the arms together, and then plug the phone in from the bottom, which is entirely too many steps in this day and age. So what I did was I bought um, an LG wireless charger. It's about this size. I took it apart. Um, and it just so happens... Oh, goodness. Um, it just so happens that it fits perfectly inside here. I don't know if the camera will focus. I guess it won't. Um, but that's basically, you can see the circuit board there. Um, yeah, it fits perfectly. And then inside there is the... I don't know why this thing won't focus. I'll try something real quick. Nope, I guess it's just not going to cooperate. Okay, trust me, it's in there. Plug it in through the bottom. Um, you can tell that's it right there, the gray and green part. Um, yeah, and so when you set the phone on here, it wirelessly charges. It's awesome. Uh, next up, I took my phone case right here and found some really, really tiny rare earth magnets and put, glued, well, JB welded the magnets inside. So one, two, and three. Um, and those correspond to some more magnets on the mount itself. So two on the outside. Oh, that came from my desk. Um, it's two on the outside here, and they're fairly large rare earth magnets. Uh, hold it on really strongly, and then there's one on the inside at the bottom here. Now the reason for that is because if I had all of them on the outside the phone was actually too far from the wireless charger and it would not charge. So if I put the two up top, the phone kind of angles down and it still charges correctly. And the one on the two up top are actually enough to hold the phone by itself, even in the car when it's shaking. The one on bottom is more to keep it aligned correctly. So I'll just give you a quick demo here. So imagine this is in the car. Um, this is plugged in obviously when it's in the car and that means the wireless charger has power. You come in, imagine the phone is in here, and you just set it on there, and that's it. The magnets hold it in place, and then it charges wirelessly through the case and through the mount here. Um, okay, so that's that part. The bigger problem I had was where to mount this thing. So, imagine, okay, let's imagine this is your windshield right here, and we have this pillar post right here. So I took off the trim piece and I found a little flexible arm mount thingy. What I did was I took the base of that mount and I put a bolt through the trim piece. And it bolts into this, um, this black mount right here. And then from there I used JB Weld to take the, the base piece right here and JB welded it to that mount that I had bolted in. Um, to really secure I could, uh, I think the trim piece itself would break before this thing came off. And then this arm is flexible and I can move it every which way I want. And then it's a little unwieldy. And uh, last little bit on the back here there's a connector. It just plugs right in theoretically. There it goes, snaps in. There's that up uh, just to the left of the steering wheel. And then I get in the car, I go, starts charging and away we go. Um, now this wireless charger, uh, I usually use navigation and uh, stream Pandora in my car. And the wireless charger will, it'll keep it um, usually about steady the battery life. Um, sometimes it'll charge, uh, you know, a percent or two uh, during 
30 minute drive so it's not bad you're not going to get it you know you're not going to end up with a full charge off this battery charger um but that's okay because the coolness factor is definitely worth it and uh it's just way convenient so uh that's pretty much it uh, it's been a long weekend project and i'm gonna let this cure for a, another couple hours and then go put put it all back together in the car